Les rêves des amoureux sont comme le bon vin. Ils Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm actually getting ready for my um virtual council meeting, but I have 13 minutes before the meeting, so let me just go talk to you and film the intro and outro of my video. Basically, I'm going to share with you the things or like the foods or the treats that I've been making on since sec the second week of the second week of quarantine and I love these treats. They are very easy to make and my family and I are making this almost every week, which is crazy. <laughs> And I don't own these recipes. I just got them from the internet and I tweaked them a bit or put my own, you know, my own thing on those recipes. And these are very good and very easy to make and very affordable. Most of the ingredients can be found at your pantry or at your home. So they are very accessible and stay home. Okay, I'm actually late for the meeting, so bye. Okay, to make your Dalgona coffee, you need a bowl and two tablespoons of instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. Don't stop looking in my eyes. And then mix it. You can actually use your hand and whisk, but if you are tired and lazy like me, you can use mixer. Eight minutes and then stop until it's for me. And then you get a glass with ice cubes and milk. You can use powdered milk if you want, but here I am using fresh milk and then put your foamy mixture thing and put it above the glass. So, to make a tuna pie, all you need is a tablespoon of mayonnaise, three tablespoons of onions, chopped, but it's better if it's minced, one can of tuna, flakes in oil. You also need red crumbs, but if you don't have, you can also use crackers like the sky flakes or magic flakes. That works. And then eggs. I use here four or three eggs. And then beat it. Like here in the video. Then cheese. And then a sandwich, cut the sides, then flatten it using a roller. But if you don't have one, use a canister or a bottle, whatever it is available. And then get into the pan and put an oil. And put the onions. Set it there for a minute or two and then put the tuna. And then the mayo. Then mix it all up until it's um I will be for like five minutes here. But anyway, yeah. We have our tuna filling. On assembling the sandwich and the filling, start of course by laying down the flattened sandwich in a plate. Then put the tuna filling, then top it with cheese. Then roll it out and flatten the sides. Dip it into the egg. Then into the breadcrumbs. Then fry it until it's golden brown and you're good to go. I think I remember your skin and mine. I think I remember. 
here, we need passive control. I will eat the command spicy. And cook it according to the instruction at the back. Then we also need cheese. So I'm using cheese flakes here. Then top it off with calamansi, boiled egg, and cheese flakes. So if you are from Philippines or a Filipino, you are very familiar with this because I like pancit canton so much. Um, a lot of kids do, but I always want to spice it up to add more flavors and you are good to go after that. Best paired with iced tea or any soda. You need a sachet of Milo, half tablespoon of instant coffee, and a tablespoon of sugar. By the way, you can also use Swiss Miss if you prefer that more than Milo, but I'm just using Milo here. Mix it together, then put it on a mug that has half a cup of hot water, then stir. Put it into a glass with ice. So I like mine very cold, so I put a lot of ice. And I think that's what makes it more yummy. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Enjoy! Don't stop looking at